okay, I'll keep it laying down here a little bit. But don't mind me if it uh, is kind of stewed. Guess we're throwing out. So if you do have the option of tabbing out of your any of your windows that show up, I would I would go ahead and do that as often as you can. So if we were working within you know, a framed area, like if this were a framed area in here, this is actually the video file. Anything that sits outside, you probably want to set that up ahead of time. So let's say you know our layers palette like this, or even your color palette, kick it off to the side. I'm just going to undo that action. So if I were, you know, let's say, you know, I'm probably a bit <coughs> not sure what your style is, whether it's vector or raster, but you know, if you're making something, you know, the the more fluid shapes tend to show up a little bit better. So if I'm making a mountain range here, you know, by making a lot of hatching, it's just People I know who do this more or less for a living. I don't want to make it like a total Bob Ross painting. But I'm going to tab that area out so you can see kind of how it might look across the entire piece. It's not my finest hour, my finest painting. See the screen capture might look decent, and uh, you know even going back over areas because we'll speed this up. Don't worry about that when you're capturing it, how fast you're working, because we can uh, adjust the speed so that you know we start it like two times, four times, something like that, and you might ramp it up as it goes on depending on how long the original clip is. Get the idea. Did not have hatches, obviously. I heard my dog sniffing something to eat. She has a little bed. And I'd say this if not, again, not knowing what your style is. If you've got like an inking layer and a paint layer, you could drop the paint layer in kind of after or even build up the paint layer and then create the ink layer. So if you've got multiple areas that you're drawing like different areas of interest, like you know, when we play this back, showing the cloud as, as you know, one structure, it's a terrible cloud, but as one structure being built, you're gonna make more sense visually in the video, so even if you can go one side to another, I am really bad at that, I tend to jump around. I don't know what we got here, a lake or something, around here. talking about before. So if I did a fill layer and I'm tabbing it back in because I don't even know how many layers I have. I don't even know where I put my layers palette color underneath here. Uh, world's worst tutorials. Anyway, so it could work in a program other than Photoshop. I actually like some of the other programs. Um, your cursor is still going to show up. And that's the only downside. If you were doing this on like a an iPad, for instance, I've done a bunch of screen capture. It doesn't show that cursor, which is great. And some of the software will allow you to turn the cursor marks off, which would be the best bet if that's possible. Uh, what I use, I 
sure you does not, but mainly I'm using it for tutorials, not for a painting process. Anyway, that's all I got.